Hey, what's up guys? Jack, Matt, McAllister, and Zach here with the Toasty Bros. And today, we are going to go rob Best Buy. I'm just kidding, we're gonna go make a full gaming setup. You like the full gaming setup from Walmart, so we decided to do one at Best Buy. So before we do that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit, it will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So, let me know if you see anything that jumps out I can ask about. 5600G with the 6600 is not awful. <laughs> we can get in a fridge and talk about it. Okay. Okay, what else we got? Okay, okay so if you want to really... I guess we'll see if we can get that one. I can, we can ask somebody and see if like yeah, they... You gotta get McAllister giving in to his... Uh, yeah, it says ready in one hour. Okay. That, that, means, that means they have it. Okay, <laughs> well, let's just ask somebody if we can find yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I think. All right. I don't think it's like so yeah and recap yeah, these PCs like they're mm -hmm. decent but the pricing is a little whack I'll be honest with you but the yeah, one we found that it may actually be available will work better for us so and it comes with this peripherals like, so like this oh, oh, I I yeah so I guess the website is get this as a mobile box available that's still I think I see it right there Yeah, I didn't even have the, does not have the power switch in it. Are okay. you guys able to adjust the price anymore on it or no? I can always ask, it's never promising. Okay. The way it works, the system kind of, or not the, the, the computer caps like a price range on them. Yeah, and I mean, if you're able to, because I mean, just because it doesn't have the power cord in the box, yeah. we can cover that stuff, especially if we're able to get it cheaper. Yeah, we can try. Uh, I think the total ended up being like 13 something after tax. $50 store credit, which I have in my pocket to use on whatever else we end up getting. So, so basically we can go. kind of subtract that off of the tax. We do need to buy a full Well, monitors over here. Do you want to go to keyboard and mouse first or no, monitors? Go to monitors over here. Yeah, we'll go to monitors. All right, so we got a gaming setup. We need- So there's, there's a couple here. There's like a 24 inch Ultra Gear. This one has AMD3 things. It's 204. Is it high refresh rate? I'm gonna assume no since it's Dell. Yeah. So this one is open box. <laughs> it's the open box Lord special. Does <laughs> so yeah, it really say the price? It says satisfactory residue. Satisfactory. What does that mean? Satisfactory. Oh, it's, it's a, condition. It's a good amount of residue. No, it's condition satisfactory comments residue. Only thing I think is there maybe there's stuff on the screen, like it was a oh, return. I think here's the price. What's the residue with spiders in? Game review. We need to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> what can you guys do on this? We can't get this residue off. What do you want to do for it? I mean, unless there's... Let's take it up and ask what they mean about the residue. <laughs> but hey, we're the open box special. At this point, we become the open box fans. So technically, we had more keyboards and mice over there that we could choose from, but we're going to go to the actual... Oddly enough, they have a whole separate section just for keyboards and mice and headsets. I guess we're going to need a headset, too, you know? Yeah, we're going to need a headset. This is a full setup, my dude. Um, is that it? Copyright? <laughs> <laughs> Got me right. We're gonna get DMCA'd. McAllister, filter this out. Oh no! <laughs> ah, it's a good song. It's a uh, great show, man. Oh wait, what is this? Is it a combo? Oh, oh baby. Wait, y'all really can't. 140 bucks, and you get a wireless headset, wireless mouse, a mouse pad, and you get—I guess it's this keyboard right here with. Um, is that the? Apex? You already know the song. Yes, Apex Three bundle. I was saying we never really checked out Steel Series. So. I know the Apex model is like their best. So we might have to redo this shot somewhere where the music is not blaring because <laughs> Kalser cannot use this. <laughs> no, Kalser make it work. Here, we're, we're gonna have to get inside a fridge. Yeah, we'll just Honestly, I don't even know what switches it says. I don't like it. All right, I like it. 
Let's go check out. Do we need a mic for this? No. Like a streaming setup. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you've watched any of this video so far, then you will know we got this stuff from Best Buy. And now we're going to go ahead and just take a peek at what we got and then get it set up. Let's do it. All right, so here for the actual computer, which I, I'm going to draw some, some blanks here because honestly, we just thought it was a really good price. Here is our receipt. We have this nice ASICS ROG computer here that has a 9th gen i7 and an RTX 2070 Super. And look at that price we got it for, $1,295.99. And you can see there was... $15.49 was the original price, then there was a $177 off um, item discount, and then they gave us $77 clearance because, well, it was missing like the box and the power cord, but they ended up giving us a power cord. They also gave us a $50 in-store credit, which basically paid for our keyboard and mouse, or at least got close to it because this is a more expensive combo. And um, it did help with this monitor that was also open box. Now, quick recap of the peripherals we got. Once again, this is a refurbished monitor or open box monitor. This is an LG Ultra Gear that is 24 inch and is 144 hertz. I believe it was like 169 or 179. Mikasa put the right price on screen. You already saw that footage, so we got that. Um, yeah, hopefully this is all good to go. We'll get this going. We are doing open box deals here, so there is a chance some stuff might not work, but I know the PC does because we already downloaded some games. And then this right here is how we made the rest of the stuff very simple. The Steel Series Ultimate Gaming Bundle featuring the Arctis One wireless gaming headset, the Apex three keyboard, the rival three wireless mouse, and the Q, the quick, quick, quick medium mouse pad. I guess it's quick. We're just going to go with quick. Um, so yeah, it comes with all that stuff in a good bundle. I think this was like 60 or $70 or something like that. So that $50 promo really helped us out. So yeah, this is a full setup. Let's put it together. Let's play some games and see what we got. All right, guys, the first game we're going to be testing is good old Fortnite 1080p performance mode. Um, not performance mode, uh, pro settings, epic view distance, everything else on low on DirectX 11. Um, and we're just going to see how well the system performs in a game like Fortnite. Now, this is a game where I think having that single channel memory is going to hurt us a little bit in terms of the IPC. And also, we just need to keep an eye on that 9700 app. I'm kind of concerned about the cooling solution that's on this thing, but uh, we'll just see what the clock speeds look like and what the temperatures end up being. We are hitting like 84 degrees every so often, and this thing is designed to boost all the way up to 4.8 gigahertz. So if this thing only hovers around 3.8, 3.9 most of the time, then we might be losing some performance because of the cooling solution. But this monitor works absolutely fine. It's a very beautiful 1080p 144 hertz display. I have no complaints whatsoever. There were a little bit of smudges all over it, which was listed on the box when we bought it. Um, so someone either returned this thing after having it for a little bit, just did not want it anymore, or I'm not necessarily sure exactly what happened with it, but it's working fine. And for the price, it was okay, considering Best Buy. Um, you can actually get some uh, cheaper 144 hertz monitors for about the same price that are not refurbished, but LG makes some pretty high quality displays. And the frame rate seems pretty solid. We're getting about 180 to 190 FPS up to 200. I mean, this is more than playable, especially on a 144 hertz screen. So you really can't complain there. And it is good that this does have 16 gigs, even though it is a single channel 16 gigs. Oh, he's done. One more shot. Oh, Bio Dragoon. He is done for. But yeah, the FPS. I mean, I was expecting more stutter, to be honest. Um, you can go performance mode, but I honestly would expect to actually get more stutter and have a worse gaming experience by going just strict performance mode. Uh, we noticed on these higher end systems, they tend to have a little bit of performance in the long run, performance issues in the long run, uh, when running performance mode rather than just doing epic view, just everything else on low. I think this llama is going to bait this guy in, actually. I do really like these peripherals. I mean, of course, the keyboard being membrane is kind of sucky, but the mouse feels very nice for a wireless mouse. And again, I think we probably would have been better off. Well, uh, SteelSeries would have been better off if they just made everything wired and gave us a mechanical keyboard. I think that would be a better buy overall, especially for $100, considering we've done roundups with combos for like 50 or 60 bucks that come with, yeah, not like a great headset or anything, but comes with a bunch of wired peripherals and at least a mechanical keyboard. So just something to keep in mind. Now there was a guy around here and honestly, I have no idea where he went. He just absolutely vanished. But, oh, is that him over there? <laughs> oh God, I took out. Ah! Ooh, oh, dude, he knows how to build. This is the fight while wow, he's running. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that shot off, but wow, look at that. We got a kill. I don't know if that was the guy I was intentionally going after, but it is somebody. The shark didn't take me alive and the FPS looks pretty solid. Let's see if Jackson can get some kills in good old Apex. Ugh. All right, Jeez. gamers, we are now in Apex Legends. We have everything set to medium high. The only thing I did not set was toggle, so you're gonna have to fix that yourself, oh, no. buddy. Um, but yeah, we're trying to see what frame we could get. The frame rate limit is removed, so we won't be capped at 144 like it normally is. But uh, yeah, we're ready to dive into some Apex and see if Jackson gets some kills. This little floppy 
we'll what floppy doohickey. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, so so far we're looking at, we'll go ahead and verify the settings real quick, but like yep, medium. medium. Medium and a couple of low here and there, um, and one high, so no. very nice mix. But I mean, look at this FPS. We could really go like high settings if we really wanted to and probably still get close to 144 because this is kind of a weird game that um, you probably noticed in the past. We've lowered settings before and sometimes it doesn't really make a huge difference. Yeah, which kind of is what it is. But I was saying, this monitor looks pretty damn good. It does look really good. This is definitely a lot nicer than like when we benchmark some of our like cheap esports computers. Will it help me be better though? Oh. Probably not. Seems like we're in like a really nice like locked like 160 to 180, which I, I like seeing. Not a lot of dips. So I'm surprised with the RAM situation. I would have thought it'd be worse, but I guess we do have 16 gigs at least. It kind of offsets it a little bit. I think having both like only eight gigs and single channel is what is screws most systems. Horrible. But having 16, you at least got the capacity to make up look, for it. Because look, right now just in Apex, we're using almost eight gigs. Yeah, so you need it. Oh my God, no, his teammate got up. I forgot this was a thing. Oh, they're all coming after oh. you. <laughs> they're all <laughs> awful. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> they're almost worse than me. Oh boy. This one's gonna go down to the wire. Dude, this is gonna be to the last straw. GG's, GG's. Shout out to them, shout out to them. What was the damage though? I mean, you 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 did what you had to do. I couldn't, I couldn't count anyone. I could only knock people. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next game. <laughs> All right, gamers, we are now in Call of Duty Warzone at 1080p on pretty much medium settings. Um, this is the first game, at least when I was loading in chairs, that I, that I started to see that i7-9700F being pinged at 100%. And when it is pinged at 100%, the clock speed is staying around 3.9 gigahertz, which I do think is its way of, uh, well, making sure it doesn't thermal throttle because the max boost clock that you should be getting with a 9700 is all the way up to 4.7 or 4.8, which the highest we're seeing right now is 3.9, 4.2, occasionally 4. 4.3 as you saw right there so we are a little bit below the spec of this cpu but nothing to where i think is going to make a massive difference in terms of performance because here on medium settings as you can see we're still getting about 100 fps all right guys we are ready to drop into warzone and the frame rate is looking pretty good uh you could raise the settings a little bit if you want to get a better visual quality but i do think this is a good balance of performance and the looks of the game um, so yeah, we're going to drop in and see if the frame rate stays about 90 to 100. Ideally, we want to get 144 to uh, really take advantage of this monitor, but anything over 90 to about 100 it would be really beneficial and it is buttery smooth. Yeah, the frame rate is about 90 to 100 FPS. We're using about 12 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs is pretty much essential in playing, so that shadow scared me, um, in playing a game like Warzone, they are always going to use um, pretty much everything you can throw at it. Even in 32 gig systems, sometimes we've seen usage of the 15 to 16 gigs. So yeah, the more the merrier when it comes to Warzone. Oh my gosh, I died, wow. That was awful. We both reloaded at the same time and he still took me out. Yeah, we're gonna go with the Gulag real quick, but I think the frame rate is pretty good across the board. Temperatures are pretty solid. Um, this system performs better than I was expecting. I really thought that single channel memory was gonna really hold it back, but in terms of just performance as a whole and the price we paid, I think it's still a pretty good buy. Um, and these um, Asus ROG towers are not too bad. Yeah, we're just gonna lose these. Watch this, this guy has no idea that I'm gonna go. And Okay, we lose these. We absolutely lose these, but there you go. I tried to be really extra with that and he's just like not having it, so whatever. There's Warzone, it's playable. Let's try another game. All right, the last game we're gonna be testing is Forza Horizon 5 using the built-in benchmark on ultra settings at 1080p. Let's just run that benchmark real quick and get an average frame rate. All right, guys, on ultra settings, which is definitely overkill for Forza Horizon 5, we got an average of 67 FPS, and it did suggest to run on the extreme preset. I wouldn't really do that, especially if you want a high refresh rate experience. You probably want to run more like high settings to get close to 144, but it is a racing game, so that's ultimately up to you. But yeah, this system performed very well. This setup is pretty good. There are some things we're not super happy about, like the membrane keyboard in this Steel Series combo, the PC having very limited um, I.O. in terms of USB ports in the back, but Overall, I think it's pretty good for Best Buy standards. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so now that we've checked out this whole entire Best Buy setup by playing all kinds of games, we've come to the conclusion that, you know, it's actually a pretty good deal. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to really go to Best Buy and build your own PC. I mean, it is possible, but it's gonna cost you more money. It's gonna be pretty difficult to find parts. So getting something like this, especially an open box deal, which Best Buy typically has four to 500 open box deals at any given time. There was over 500 at our store 
definitely make sure you check them out because they may have them on your peripherals, your monitor, and your actual computer. I'll leave a ton of affiliate links to Best Buy for some recommended pre-builds if you don't want to do the hunting for open box deals, and also some recommended stuff like this, like monitors, keyboard, mouse, and all that sort of fun stuff. So check the links down below. They'll be affiliate links and they will help us out. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, if you guys want to buy this full setup or something similar, you should check out our PC selling business. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, and we want to give you Toasty Bros viewers a special discount. If you use code TOASTYBROS2 at checkout, you can save 2% on anything you buy from PCBros.tech. So check out our website, use that code. See you guys later. Goodbye.